This remains one of the most important parts of the IGCSE chemistry exam. You do get a lot of questions asking you to predict the products of electrolysis. The very first thing you should do is to identify the electrolyte. There are two types of electrolyte, aqueous and molten. In molten electrolyte, the product at the cathode is going to be the metal. You get gas at the anode and the electrolyte itself gets used up. For aqueous electrolytes, products at the cathode depend on the reactivity of the metal. If the metal was low in reactivity such as copper or silver, you get a metal deposit on the cathode. For reactive metals such as sodium or potassium, you get hydrogen and the electrolyte becomes metal hydroxide. Product and the anode for aqueous electrolytes are halogen if the electrolyte was a concentrated solution of the halide. You get oxygen at the anode in one of two cases. If the electrolyte was a dilute solution or if the electrolyte was sulfate or nitrate. In both cases, oxygen is produced from the hydroxide ions in water. 